There is nothing as a husband, as a father, as a grandfather, as a teacher, as a leader, as a volunteer, there is nothing more contagious than a positive example. Michael McLean, BrassBallsVideos.com. I am an ex-professional hockey coach, ex-amateur championship hockey coach, turned eight-figure entrepreneur. If you would like a free copy of my brand new book, Five Ways to Unfuck Your Life in the Next 30 Days, the link is below, BrassBallsVideos.com. Just a word of warning about this book. I wrote this book about three months ago. It's about 22 pages PDF. You can read it in 10 to 15 minutes. This book is not, I repeat, not every entrepreneur's cup of whiskey. I wrote this book for champions, not for chumps, for whiners, not for winners. If that is your cup of Earl Grey, that's perfectly okay. If it's not, that is fine as well. So I just got finished running a two-day closed-door mastermind in Orlando with 15 of my top entrepreneurs. Um, men, elite, generous, and driven entrepreneurs. We work on marketing, we work on marriage, we work on fitness, we work on whatever it is that scales them to the next level of peak performance. These are high-performance men and women in all different kinds of businesses. We, we get behind closed doors for two days. I bring in guest speakers like Billy Wagner, the $50, $50 million man. One of the world's greatest copywriters, Doberman Dan, was in to spend a day. And we all do what I call a 45-minute marketing hot seat. What the hell is a marketing hot seat? What it is, is each of the 15 uh, men and women, they get 45 minutes to present to the group. And they stand up at the front of the room, where it's in a small conference room, and they do a PowerPoint on their family, on their business, on their goals, on their struggles, on their wins, on their losses. And then for about 30 minutes to the 45 minutes, they get feedback from the other Mastermind members on how to solve problems, how to improve their life, how to improve their business. And that's, that's what the marketing hot seat is. So we did this the first day and we heard from some incredible, incredible entrepreneurs. We worked on their businesses. And I'm walking back to the hotel room to put on my swimming trunks to go for a swim after the day with my, my 11 year old. And she looks up at me on the elevator and she goes, Daddy, could I do a marketing hot seat? And I looked at her and I said, of course you can do a marketing hot seat. You'll have to prepare over the next, maybe, you know, we, we do three of these meetings a year. Well, our next one will be in February. And I said, if you prepare and teach yourself how to do PowerPoint, and you put together pictures of your dog walking company, um, if you put together, you know, your charities, your lemonade stand, your Terry Fox fundraising, I said, I will be happy to put you into the mastermind and the guys would love to hear from you, but you gotta do the work first. So she says, okay, that's great. And, and my wife was gonna take uh, Emery to Universal Studios the next day to the Harry Potter thing. So as the day went on, the night went on, we had dinner and things like that. My daughter, she's 11 and she's got a dog walking business in Naples. She has, she's raised over $10,000 for charities this year in both the United States and Canada. And she's a pretty active kid. She's homeschooled half the year, goes to private school the other half. So she's got a pretty magnetized story. Like it's really valuable for parents and grandparents that are part of our group. So she stays at it. She doesn't take no for an answer. And she says, daddy, is there any way I can do a mastermind presentation, even if it's five minutes, not 45, but five kids, 11. And I said, well, the problem is you've got to be able to have a PowerPoint where you stand up and you show photos and you tell your story and then you ask for help. So she says to me, she says, if I do that, can I be present tomorrow afternoon? And I said, well, if you can do that, of course I'm gonna find five or 10 minutes for you. It's very valuable for us, the group to hear, plus the process for her. Most of my guys through the years, I've been doing masterminds for 15 years. The guys say that pr putting the presentation together, the actual slides is as valuable as you know presenting. It just makes you think, it shows that you've accomplished something and it really is a snapshot of your life over the last few years. Very valuable. 
So we do the mastermind and uh, my daughter sat through the first day. Most 11 year olds wouldn't be able to sit there without screens and pads. She had her sketch pads. I don't allow any technology in the room. No cell phones, no MacBooks, no laptops. So she was in there listening and sketching and coloring. And, and then, but this second day, she was working out in the lobby. And she was, I said to my wife, Chris, I said, what's Emery doing? He, she said, I just showed her how to, um, to get on PowerPoint and she's building a presentation for this afternoon. And I was like, wow. So I went out on a break and I said to her, she says, daddy, I'll be ready with a 10 minute presentation this afternoon after lunch. And I was just blown away at how driven she was and how determined she was. Of course, we want to always say yes to that stuff. So after lunch, she's all ready to go. She's got like a little presentation. It's probably five or 10 minutes. It's about 10 slides. And I said to the guys when they returned from lunch, I said to the team, the mastermind team, I said, everybody, Emery would love to do a five or 10 minute hot seat. Is that possible? She's gonna share with you her company, uh, her entrepreneurship venture so far, how she's raised tens of thousands of dollars for Cherry, her marketing, and everybody was excited to, to see this, right? The average age in that room is, you know, 60, 55, 60. So she gets up there and she is loaded for bear. She is prepped. She gets up there, she's got the clicker, and she literally goes through her story. She introduces herself. She talks about her family. She talks about her schooling. Then she talks about her dog walking company in Naples. She shows her flyers, her postcards, her emails that she sends to her clients. Then she talks about her community work, how she raised over $5,000 last year for the Naples Animal Sanctuary with her lemonade stand. She talked about how she just raised over $6,000 for cancer research with the Terry Fox Run in Canada. She shares the emails, how she raised the money. She shares her horse, you know, the sports that she does. She loves art, she loves riding. She loves all that stuff. And then she asks for questions at the end. And almost every single person in the room was fascinated. They gave, you know, they asked the books that she likes. They asked, you know, how much money does she make? They asked, how does she decide what charities to support? I've never, ever, ever, been more proud of my kid than those 10 minutes. She stood up there like a polished adult. She presented in a professional way. She didn't waste anybody's time. And our group was kind enough to give her those 10 minutes. And for me, it was one of the highlights of the mastermind. I never saw that coming. I never, we didn't even plan. Krista said, you know, I won't be able to be in the meetings because I'll have Emery at the pool. And then one day we're gonna go to uh, either Disney or to, um, um, one of the other parks in Orlando. So after the first day, I'm like, you guys were in there the whole eight hours. And she's like, yeah, Emery loved every second of it, listening to the different men and women present. And then the second day, that's when she pulled the PowerPoint together and asked if she could, shows you the power, what's, what more is caught than taught. When she saw the, those men and women up there, she's like, I wanna do that. When it shows that, you know, the, the key to living is giving, that she wanted to share her ideas. She didn't ask for anything. She shared her ideas in front. And it just shows that our kids will surprise us if we encourage them to think for themselves, to think independently. It's just like, wow. So we never came here thinking that she would even sit through a day of the masterminds. She ended up being part of the masterminds for two days. And then she actually did her own marketing hot seat, which just blew myself, blew Krista, and blew almost everybody away. And I said to Krista, because Emery's missing school this week back home in Canada, and I said, what do you think? Do you think that was more valuable two days with some of the uh, highest peak performing people in America and Canada doing a presentation in front of everybody, a marketing hot seat, or being uh, back at school or being homeschooled and we just thought that, wow, this was one of the greatest experiences that Emery's ever had. So um, just wanted to share with you, like, it's just, you know, we, we need to be raising entrepreneurs. Not everybody ends up in business, but man, if you can just encourage that entrepreneurial spark, that to see, you know, kids, they get it pounded out of them. You know, they're dreamers. They want to be astronauts. They want to be doctors. They want to be nurses. They want to be, you know, inventors. 
And then as they grow, grow older, a lot of them lose that spark because we don't encourage it. And that's where reading comes in. That's where, you know, when they see the example of mom and dad who are entrepreneurs or ha who have a side business or, or a second job, where you ignite that flame. And I mean, in, being in a mastermind, it ignites the flame for me, you know, and it, it ignites the flame for the people participating in. Can you imagine an 11 year old or your son or daughter or grand, whatever. And um, so entrepreneurship is always something that Chris and I are constantly sharing. We're constantly modeling it. My daughter sees me walk out the door every day and shoot a video. She sees me writing every day. She sees me studying newsletters and books. And she, she sees the passion and the obsession I have with helping other people. And uh, more, is caught, more is caught than taught. More is caught than taught. And nothing is more contagious than a positive example. So the example you're setting is the example you're going to see down the road with your kids, with your grandkids. And I cannot recommend more setting an entrepreneurial um, uh, uh, example so that when they decide what they want to be, whether it's a vet, whether it's an astronaut, whether it, that they can support it with their own business. That even if they're going into something like that, it can be their pet store, it can be it can be their restaurant, it can and they can make their dream happen by being their own very boss. So I wanted to share that story and how incredible the gift of children, how incredible these children are if we just if we just encourage them to read, to keep dreaming, to stay curious and that they can absolutely build their own empire, their own business, and they can also serve people uh, at a young age. And that's what business is all about, solving problems and helping people. Two words that changed my life, two words that can change yours. Be relentless.